Hey everyone, it's M Gems here. Welcome back to part six of Unheard. So we are trying to solve the mystery of the mental hospital right now. We got a lot of characters. Uh, we got a lot of different scenarios, potentially different plans going on. I don't really know yet. I don't really have any suspicions of who Ghost might be. Real mental patients, I have some ideas. Like I definitely think Spoon is, um, but I don't know, it's kind of hard to know who is just like maybe faking it. So anyway, we're going to listen in on George and the Maestro now. This is, I think, one of the only scenarios that we haven't heard at all from. And these characters we haven't heard at all from. All I know is that George gets knocked out, so I don't think that he's behind the bombing, at least. However, something weird is going on with the doctors, that's for sure. They're doing, they're doing weird experiments, so they're not necessarily innocent. So let's see what's going on with these Why guys. Why is it you wanted me to meet you here, George? Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor, Maestro. You're an expert when it comes to art, yes? I was hoping you could evaluate- So that has to be the Maestro from the art gallery case, right? It has to. And he's asking him a favor? So I wonder if this is like, this case is taking place afterwards. And, um... We know that this also ties in with the police station case. I wonder if it ties in with the theater case as well. The only thing that I notice is that Jennifer sounds a hell of a lot like Sasha, but we know Sasha died. So, I don't know. <laughs> I just quite honestly have no idea what's going on. You wait a painting for me. <laughs> wait, what the hell did he just say about the painting? Painting for me. Yes. I was hoping you could evaluate a painting for me. Okay, evaluate. <laughs> You've come to the right person. Not to boast, but uh, a piece's price can increase considerably if I say good things <laughs> about it. Of course, of course. Please, sit. The picture's right here. If you could just take a look. What is this? This isn't artwork. This is a map? Indulge what? me if you would. And listen to the music. Anything? Oh my god, the music of the game. That's so weird. There is something. Wait. I need to get my thoughts straight. Take your time. It's like brainwashing him? Like, what's going on? I don't want to like fast forward through it in case this is important somehow. Maybe we'll fast forward a little? Do not say anything. Is he just listening to this music the whole time? Oh Jesus, it scared me. I see it now. Tell me, what do you see? I see a, an interrogation. Yes, inside a police station. Okay, so I think that I'm right about these rooms being the room that we're in. Oh my God, this is so crazy. <laughs> so they're getting, are they getting the mental patients to try to solve the investigations or something like that? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Who are the police interrogating? I don't... Oh, wait. Yes. I know this voice. Silver Spoon? What? what are they questioning Silver Spoon about? Something about... drugs. It, yes, I remember... Silver Spoon mentioning this before. Wait, drugs as in the very first case? What was that guy's name? Cameron? Wait, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Excellent. Let's move on to the next picture. Oh my god. Another one? What about the painting you said I was here to evaluate? What's going on? Oh, what maestro. are you doing to me? Don't worry, maestro. It's just a small test. One more picture. And we're done. Uh, uh, another map? Do you recognize this place? 
The art gallery? Mm, it looks familiar. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, an art gallery. Describe the art gallery for me. It's crowded. An exhibition will start soon. And you're Wait. just casually also there? There's an empty frame? But why? Exactly. Why is that? Give me just a... a moment. No, no. It can't be that either. Uh, but then, who took it? The, the real painting. It's Wait. fine. Take your time. He doesn't understand what's going on? I'm very confused. <laughs> um, it has to be the same maestro, right? So, but then he doesn't like recognize himself at the art gallery. Are they doing this to test like the mind racing powers? I don't know. I, I am completely lost, but this is so interesting. Just fast forward until he says something. Okay. Oh, it's Sean. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you again. He remembers. Oh, and Ms. Reeves is here too. Why did it take him the so long to... was stolen. Someone stole my painting. No, no. That's not it. I had my own painting stolen. It, it was part of my exhibition. I spent so much time and effort on my painting. I would never let someone steal it. It was all part of my plan. <laughs> yes, the painting was retrieved in the end too. The lost art return. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid your symptoms haven't improved. What? What are you talking about? Didn't you ask me to evaluate paintings for you? This was an evaluation. Except it was a psychiatric one. We call it the thematic apperception test. Oh no, Maddie's barking. <laughs> Dang it, Maddie, this is the worst time. I'm like so into the mystery. Why do you have to be barking right now? <laughs> Okay, we are all good now. <laughs> what? A psychiatric evaluation? Yes. Tailor-made for your symptoms. I also use roleplay therapy to supplement the effects. Unfortunately, the results are far from promising. Wait, are none of these cases real? Is, th is, is this like the only... Is this... Is it all just an experiment? I... What's wrong with me, exactly? We used images to hypnotize you, allowing you to see and hear things from your past. When you saw an interrogation, you could remember the story Silver Spoon told you. The problem is, when you saw the image reflecting yourself, you weren't able to differentiate between delusion and reality. You sank further and further into your own fantasy story, allowing you to escape from the bleakness of your own reality. You staged the whole theft. Quite a coincidence, and a little too convenient, don't you think? What? George! Doctor! What you said... I don't quite understand. Don't worry about it. You know everything you need to know. Now, answer me one question. Who are you? I'm the ma... No. No, I'm... Mm. Patient number 29. Yes. There you go. Oh my god. Perfect. Now, just make sure you keep taking your medication on time. And trust me. You will get better. All right. Wait, what the fuck? So first of all, they're trying to erase their identities, clearly. But I don't, I don't understand what he was saying about how, like, you can't distinguish reality 
from your delusions and like because the maestro didn't understand what was going on at first and then he like remembered that scenario with the case i don't get it <laughs> i don't, still don't get it um now he's asleep patient 29 shows little improvement if anything his symptoms may be worsening for situations with which he has an anecdotal connection, he is able to discern the projected narrative from reality. But in cases where he has direct experience, his ability to distinguish between the two is severely blurred. Prognosis remains guarded. Okay. I strongly recommend continued treatment with antipsychotic medications, as well as TAT and role-playing therapy to see if conditions improve. And we should schedule him for a full reassessment in six weeks' time. Why would they be doing this, though? I want to see if Maestro says anything. And then I'll follow George after. Oh, well, Elvira is going to get the keys from him. Do you just sleep the whole time? Like, what exactly constitutes improvement to the doctors? Or to at least this George guy? Like, him completely having no memory of his past? Why would they want that? <laughs> I don't know. Very confused. Was Jennifer's voice similar to the creepy lady that talks to us? Because she's a doctor also. So maybe she's the one interrogating us in, in this room here. I can't remember if their voices were similar, though. I kind of feel like they were. But then she also sounds like Sasha. I just, I don't know. I'm very confused about many things. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to follow this Oscar guy around. <laughs> because I don't know too much about him yet. Where do you go? I need to go back to the beginning and follow you the whole way. Oh wait, Oscar's the the person posing as the one who works here, right? Hello, welcome in, officers. How can I help you? But you have a different voice later, don't you? I swear you have a different voice. You didn't have to give me such a hard time. Sorry. Occupational hazard. Yeah. Once I get in character, I'm no longer reciting. Oh lines. right, he's playing a character because he's an actor. But are you a patient? Okay, I kind of forgotten what they had said here. What the hell's going on? Why were the police here? Things are getting out of control. I was just playing along with Mr. Director and the other crackpots, right? Figured if we really did take over the hospital, it'd be much easier to look for ghosts. No way, it's a coincidence. You notice anything off about those cops? Well, they were definitely looking for someone. That much was obvious. But the way they were interrogating every single patient makes me think they're after Ghost, too. Why would the authorities suddenly be searching for him? Until we got that tip, everyone thought he was dead. Maybe they got it, too. Anyway, what have you found so far? I don't know if Ghost could be Ray because everyone, like, they really seem to think that Ghost is a patient. And if we're assuming that Ghost is Dwight from the police station case, then it wouldn't make sense for him to be... Although he's not posing as a doctor, he's posing as a caretaker, which would be an easier thing to fake. Hmm... So Ray is one of would be one of my guesses for Ghost, but maybe that's too obvious. And we know that that McMurphy guy is working together with the cops. I feel like that makes him kind of suspicious, but then like he also didn't know what was going on in that room up there, so I don't think it's him. This is confusing. I think the first thing to do would be to figure out who the mental patients are, the real mental patients, which I I feel like maybe I have an idea. Okay, I feel like I didn't learn anything new listening to their conversation again. Okay, let's try and make a guess here. So, in terms of the patients, 
Obviously not the cops. We know this guy's working with the cops. Oscar, I don't know. Like, he's posing as this person that's, like, working here. But he's clearly not. I'll include him for now. Mr. Director. Not Jennifer and Ray. Not George. I don't know about the maestro either. I thought the maestro was just someone that George invited in. No, he must be a patient. Or maybe, I don't know. We'll try him. We can always get rid of him later. I don't think Nellie is. Spoon, Emily, Clep. And I'm not sure about James either. We'll try him. In terms of who Ghost is, I'm gonna guess Ray. Because, I don't know. Because he had the remote. Like, I don't, he just seems so suspicious to me. And he could, like I said, be posing as a caretaker. Let's just try that. Okay. One have the correct answer. So I think that means that Ray is ghost. I think there shouldn't be this many real patients. So that must mean that Ray is ghost. Oh my gosh, see that one I actually got. My first guess. Damn. I thought it was gonna be more complicated than that. Okay. So there's too many. So maybe not Maestro. Let's just take out him. No, okay, so there's still less. Oh, this one's tough. This one really is just like process of elimination, I feel like. I think we at least have the right ones. There's just too many. So maybe Oscar is not. Oscar and James? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Oh no, there should be more real patients. Oh shit, okay, maybe it's one of them then. <laughs> maybe James is. Let's try that. What? I think that means that we have the right amount of patients, but just one of them is wrong or something. Maybe Oscar is and James isn't. Or it's somebody else. What do you think about that? That's still not right. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. I wonder if Oscar isn't and Nelly technically is, or maybe the maestro technically is. Let's just try both of those. Okay, so it's definitely, I don't think it's Nelly. What about the maestro? Oh, <gasps> we did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, you can listen again, too. I guess that's if you want to confirm stuff, should we? I feel like there's nothing else I have to listen to, though. I feel like we listen to everything. <gasps> Close the case! That one... Excellent work, detective. I did pretty well on. Okay. I feel like something's gonna happen. I have just one last question for you. Okay. No, don't be creepy. I knew it! I have just one last question <gasps> for you. Who are Who you? Who are you? Oh my god. What? Wait, is there like a right answer? What the fuck? I have no idea. Oh my god, I knew, I knew we were in a room like this. Number 68, does that mean patient 68? Patient 68 is the one that escaped, right? That could be right. Cameron. Cameron's the guy from the first case. I don't think we're Mr. Director. Maestro... Maybe. But I feel like not Maestro because he was talking to George. Emily. Tyler, also from the first case. We could just say Detective. Or Clep. I'm not really inclined to say Clep either. I don't know. Wait, do I have to identify both of you? It's just asking me who I am. 
Oh no, it's all wiggly. I don't like that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, I honestly don't know who to say. What if I get it wrong? Is she gonna fucking kill me? <laughs> like, is this a trick question? Should I just say No, I'm not a detective. I'm not. This was just a whole ploy, her telling me I'm a detective. I kind of want to say number 68, because, like, maybe we were the es escaped mental patient. But if we were escaped, then why would we be in this room this whole time? Although this is technically a little bit in the future, so maybe they caught me. Should we say number 68? Because Emily would have died in that explosion. Klepp would have died in that explosion. I feel like the other ones don't make sense. Cameron and Tyler's a weird one also. I'm gonna say number 68. I don't know. Do I identify you? No? Okay. I guess. Are you gonna kill me? Okay. Oh god. Number 68. Hmm? Since you already know you're one of our patients, oh, we'll shit. move forward with your treatment. Here. This pill will help calm no, I don't want and it. center you. No, I don't want it. Can I take the cigarette instead? Oh, she's like breathing now. That is freaking creepy. I clicked the cigarette. Don't kill me. I killed her? Did I escape? God. Jennifer? What happened to you? Wake up! It was Jennifer! What the fuck? Did I do a bad thing? <laughs>
<gasps> no, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. No, that was scary. <laughs> I did not like that at all. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're clearly like correct endings and wrong endings. That was clearly not right. Oh, thank God the names are still there. I wonder if there's a reason that these all have X's next to them. So maybe we should try clap. I feel like the same thing is gonna happen. Let's just try it there, why not? I don't I'm think sorry, you... No, okay, it's the same, okay. But you've failed the test. Okay, so I feel like like the other regular names are just gonna give us like an improper ending like that or an incorrect ending. I kind of want to see Detective, though, because that's the only one that's, like, not a character. I don't know. It might it might be kind of the same thing. But we'll try one last time. Don't do the hand thing again. Congratulations, Detective. You passed the final test. That was By right, now, though? You've probably realized... Yeah, I did realize that. ...was mixed with some of the voices from previous You can times. explain it? It threw the other testers into a state of deep confusion. But you didn't lose yourself like they did. Which means you are now qualified to call yourself a true acoustic detective. Since you've mastered the system, you can take it with you. You never know when it might come in handy. And if you hear any residual voices or auditory hallucinations, I trust you'll master those too. In time. Okay. That concludes the exam, detective. Thank you again for participating. It exceeded all of my expectations. You're free to leave whenever you like. Am I actually, though? Okay, we can only click on the door. It looks that way. Okay, bye, I guess. It's been real. Oh. Thank you again for participating. It exceeded all of my expectations. You're free to leave whenever you like. Let me ask you again. Who are you? Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. State your name. You don't recognize your old pal? What the hell, Sergeant? You fucking me. I'm a ball writer. Ask him the basics. Wait, where are we? Wait, what? Oh man, that one was creepy at the end. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what was going on. Why, if I say I'm detective, would she just let me leave? And why, if I say I'm patient 68, would she want me to stay? Yeah, I feel like I don't totally understand what was going on in this place. Um, but maybe you guys get it more than I do. You can explain it to me in the comments. Um, but holy shit, this was just like a random game that I found on Steam and it was way cooler than I thought it would be. It really exceeded my expectations. Like, I thought this was a ton of fun and um, surprisingly this last case wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I figured out who uh, Ghost was right away, but um, I guess the mental patients was a little bit more challenging because some were faking and some weren't, but I think out of all of them, the hardest one was probably the theater one. Uh, that one, I just really wasn't picking up on who killed Sasha, so I was kind of guessing in the end, but um, this one was really cool. I really liked this last one and how it all kind of came together. Like I kept saying, I just had like some weird feeling about that woman in that room, and it was Jennifer in the end who also had Sasha's voice. So I'm glad they explained that, and it wasn't just a case of them not having enough voice actors. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments, uh, if you enjoyed it. And I liked that they had different endings. I had no idea that that was a thing, actually. I, I didn't click on all the names, honestly. It was just too much to go through that every single time, but I kind of feel like the other names would have just been like a failure. And to be honest, the hand thing freaked me out a lot. I, I didn't want to see it again, so. Anyway, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. You can also hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of when new videos come out. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.